Good afternoon, this is Todd Colvin coming to you from the floor of the CME Group. We are looking at metals and gold prices extended the big move from late last week. We saw gold prices get into the mid 1230s, a level that probably seemed like, you know, euphoria or fantasy about a month ago. But now we're starting to see prices build a base here. And the fact that we see all this extension, this is the highest we've been since July. Now we're calling July, we were going the other way at a pretty fast rate. So seeing us retrace back up to north of 1230, I think is significant. We need to hold above 1225 on a settlement basis in order to maintain this momentum. Doesn't mean if we go back below it that things are going to crash, but it does mean that we'll lose this short lived, could be short lived momentum that we're seeing to the upsides. So right now, gold in a positive uh, momentum form. Uh, as we head into a week that carries not only with FOMC, but housing data, two things that may be suspect to a market correction, at least uh, from a Fed policy perspective, given the fact that if the minutes tone is an uber uh, hawkish, the market may take it as dovish. And if the housing numbers don't improve, that's going to hurt the Fed's uh, chances of raising rates more into 2019, not necessarily in 2018. And the dollar today uh, struggled a bit. We saw the dollar decline mostly on global trade tensions. Uh, not necessarily uh, that we're seeing any massive movement. It kind of hung at the low end of the range, low end of last week's range as well. So we didn't really see the dollar extend its losses despite the fact that gold was rallying. So again, the two aren't playing uh, historically the way they usually do when we talk about gold and, and the dollar trading um, opposites of each other. Yes, the dollar was down today, but not significantly, but we did see a big pop in gold prices. So gold prices moving higher despite the dollar really only treading water to the downside slightly. And lastly, let's look at the positioning. We noted on Friday that the, we likely saw speculators exit those shorts ahead of the big move. That was incorrect. Speculators actually added to their shorts into the into the rally. Uh, it looked like they were probably caught way off sides, and that was probably one of the big reasons that we saw the big move that we did late last week. Uh, as of Tuesday, October 9th, we saw them to move to their biggest short position going back to April of 2001. So right now we're seeing, uh, you know, massive reversal from speculators probably fueled this move. Now we're starting to see some real money jump in, starting to see some retail investors jump in as well. It looks to me like the market, uh, you know, with all the uncertainty going on, not only with policy, with trade tensions, with what could possibly happen with some elections coming up, but not just in the U.S., but over in Europe. There's a lot of what if questions that maybe are starting to funnel their way down into gold prices, which maybe had eluded it earlier when we saw gold trade down basically straight down uh, from April. So right now, gold prices finding some bullish momentum. Can they stay above 1225? That's the level you need to stay to hold it. This is Todd Colvin coming to you from the floor of the CME Group.